What's up YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. I appreciate you tuning in. Apologize to you guys. We wasn't able to have a video for this past Monday. We had a crazy weekend. Uh, we had uh, one of my wife's relatives that was real close to her and aunt passed away. It was my wife's birthday on Sunday. We had the church play going on. Um, we had a ton of things happening all at once. Uh, sorry about the mic here. Let me fix this. Let me just put these two little strings together maybe and that'll help um so thank you so much for tuning in to this wednesday video it is winter as well there's less to talk about when we're just kind of dormant or getting into dormancy in cool season lawns many of you up north we've already talked about this jersey pennsylvania virginia you know west virginia you guys are dormant and so uh, there's not a lot of growing not a lot of mowing it's just kind of chill and we see it in the numbers on youtube no matter what anybody says youtube numbers for lawn care drops during the cool season so uh, and this is a hobby of mine. Again, it's not my business, so uh, it's not something I do for a profit for to support my family. It's a hobby, so uh, we may slow down on the videos and the content here in December, Christmas time. Uh, just t continue to tune in. We'll get back to our regular schedule, you know, when things begin to pick up more in uh, probably more like February when we begin to look at our, uh, our application of prodiamine for uh, pre-emergent in our lawn. Um, just to give you a quick lawn update before we get into uh, the topic of this video i did a mow on saturday uh, before we had practice and we had basketball stuff going on another thing that i'm involved in um, i got out here and i forced myself to mow it because i heard on the radio um, that we're going to have more rain and it's already moist we've had tons of rain here in central north carolina and it was mushy and i was pushing that mower getting mud everywhere and it was not an enjoyable mow however it looks good so hopefully it'll look good behind me um, and it looks great with that we had the crisscross pattern last time we did a uh, left to right mode this time so it looks great um, but uh, anyways it was not an enjoyable one so the lawn continues to do well um, we want to just quickly talk about today's video about the future uh, the future of mr. Ferguson's channel the future of my lawn goals just to state them out there something to talk about here in the winter months as we're kind of just thinking okay what do we want to accomplish this year and as my goal which I've stated from the beginning until last year we, we accomplished our goal, and I'm gonna go back to that goal. I'm not gonna go above and beyond it yet, but my goal is to keep this lawn and survive through a North Carolina summer twice. So that is my goal. That is my main goal on this channel. As I show you guys, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm putting down this fur, we're killing this disease, we're stopping this disease, we're putting hydrotain down, we're doing all these videos. The whole entire purpose of all of it is to have fescue to survive all the way until next September when we begin to evaluate, okay, do we need to overseed? Do we not need to overseed? Um, do we need to aerate? Do we not need to aerate? Do we need to dethatch? Do we not need to dethatch? And where we've got so much grass. I didn't like this past year just reviewing this past year in 2021 you know lawn coming into 2022 we, we survived the summer our third year I believe or for year four we planted for year four year three the year three lawn I believe if I'm not mistaken made it through the summer um, a lot of that had to do with uh, excessive watering in the summer more watering than I've ever done and it reflected as I told you guys we had a four hundred dollar uh, public utilities water bill because we're on city water we don't have a well four hundred dollar water bill my wife about shot me in the face um, but she didn't and I'm still here but I cannot do to do that especially since they bumped up the rates since then it would probably be somewhere around 450 now uh, if not higher um, but I was able to survive and it's like okay does the amount of money we put into water uh, exceed the amount of money we would put into buying seed, grass seed to redo every year um, as we talked about on the grass factor um, uh, Ray he said, you know, growing fescue in North Carolina where you're at in your climate, um, you should just expect for some of your grass to die off and you're going to have to replant every year. And I was like, well, I mean, I accept that, but I don't accept that. You know what I mean? I get what you're saying, Ray, but I don't accept that. I think we could make it all the way through summer 
without having a lot of die off. And we did that last year. I was, I exceeded my standard. I made it. That front yard did not need to be dethatched and aerated like we did this past September, just a few months back. Um, I learned a lot through, uh, cause I was in new territory and that's where, where everything I'm filming for you guys is new territory. But I'm like, I've never been here before. I don't really know what to do. Uh, we've never made it with this much grass through summer. Um, I'm used to having to aerate or not having to aerate, but I'm used to aerating because that's, that's the formula that I used to succeed the very first year. I aerated, I seeded, I put down my starter fur, I put peat moss down and I had beautiful green grass when it was just desert literally there was nothing back here but crabgrass and dirt and when I did that it became beautiful in three weeks and I'm like that's the key that's what I need to do I know how to grow it can I maintain it and that's a whole nother beast and so this past year when we kept all of this all of this survived we did not overseed anything that you guys are seeing behind me we didn't overseed any of this it's incredible it's so this is going to be you know this summer it'll be two-year-old grass um, which is great because those roots are getting thicker and deeper and uh, it's less likely to die off. It's, it's getting stronger. It's already got one summer under its belt. That's the goal for the front yard. Can we get the front yard, you know, and that's where my watering will probably be more towards the front yard, although we want to survive in the backyard. Uh, but we're going to concentrate water on the front yard this summer. So uh, without blabbing too much more, the goal is to survive through the summer. North Carolina, you guys know, we get excessive humidity. We get 100 degree days. Um, and sometimes the last two May, the month of May, we have been drought. It's been dry. This past May was dry. And the month before, the it was the third driest May in North Carolina history, I think is what Mr. Kevin said, if not the second. Um, and then this, uh, uh, luckily this past August, in, in August, you know, in the hot month, we had a lot of rain come down and it really helped. And we had a cool down period, which really helped save our, our lawns, a lot of y'all's lawns if you're in North Carolina. So that's the main goal. And that's why you'll see me using Green Kick. That's why you'll see me using CK and using RGS and these biostimulants because I want to try to help with the protective properties that I, I read. Can I absolutely 100% prove to people on YouTube that this stuff is going to help your lawn survive? I can't do that. I know what they tell me, and it's a faith factor. Do you have faith that Next is selling you uh, some liquids that is not going to do crock for your, your, your soil? Or do you believe them when they say this will, this sea kelp extract is really going to help strengthen your plant? to survive stressful environments. Um, that's up to you to decide as a consumer. Um, I've tried them out and we had, last year we used hardly no biostimulants the whole year. I used RGS uh, in the beginning. I may have put down some microgreen. I might've used some green effect, but that's not real. That's more of a fertilizer ornamental fertilizer. Um, but we didn't use hardly any if, if we did use any biostimulants last year. But that's my main goal is to survive the summer that will always be my main goal here in north carolina and then it's just about you know trying to keep the color um i, I may I, i've not really played around with nitrogen in the summer because it makes me nervous i know pete's like ah you can put down nitrogen whenever you want and uh, i've done it for years he's an expert he's got access to things i don't um, so we may play around with different products this year we may go back and attack some of the bermuda uh, in early spring when temperatures are more and and lower so that it's actively growing Bermuda, but the temperatures are extremely high to where it would hurt our fescue. And somebody was giving me tips on what you can add to Fusilade to help reduce the damage on the grass. We don't want to hurt our good grass, but we do got to fight Bermuda. We do want to keep warm season grass out of the lawn. We want to be sure we stay on top of our disease program. We want to stay on top of doing soil tests. That's something I've slacked in last year is I need to do a soil test. I need to see where I'm at. I need to see coming up this spring, do I need to add lime? Where's my pH level? We need to be doing soil tests to check those type stuff. Um, be sure to think about grubs. If you, you know, I, when we were digging out and doing some of our mulch down here at our natural fence line, I found some white grubs. I didn't film them, but I found them. So that <laughs> could be grubs from Mr. Uh, Brandon's lawn. It could be just grubs that are in the mulch bed. Um, but coming up this spring, we need to think about grubs. We want to prevent them and keep them out of the lawn. We've got bifen that has helped a lot with spiders and with you know the little earwigs and things that we need to spray at last 
last about three months bifing is something that i have come to love it's worked well at our church we had an outdoor event we sprayed the whole area with bifen didn't have a single problem with insects the entire event it was awesome um, so bifen i'm a big believer about that that came from you guys suggesting it so things like that we'll continue to do on the channel as normal but just wanted to state that for all of our newcomers our our new subscribers that may we picked up thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for staying along you know this is a unique channel compared to lawn care professionals that are taking you lawn to lawn showing you different weeds they've got tons of content to show you i'm limited to my lawn sometimes we'll go over and talk with mr kevin we'll talk to my brother we'll look at my dad's lawn um, and we'll go on location when we can but I try to show you guys everything I do and show you the results. There you go. Um, if it was a surprise to some of you guys, then there it is. The, the goal is to survive summer. We're driving roots. We've mowed a ton this fall, uh, many, many mows. We are striping. Um, it's, it's driving the grass roots down. We're thickening it up. Summer, or excuse me, spring is only going to thicken up the grass even more. Mowing, mowing, mowing helps to thicken up those roots, thicken up the grass. And then it's, uh, we'll be jumping straight into uh, summer very soon after spring gets here it ain't long in north carolina it could be early it could be a little delayed we never know it's a water thing um, so i've learned about water a lot last year as well so we're trying to survive the summer and keep this grass so we're not having to constantly buy seed and constantly have to reapply seed over and over and over each year we're trying to grow and that's what everybody's trying to do trying to grow and try to have a well-maintained uh, and put some age behind this grass so thank you for tuning in today i am on twitter if you want to check me out there at mr ferguson lawn again and thank you to those who voted on the Reddit lawn care uh, tournament they had or contest. I somehow got sixth, so I thank you to the maybe 10 of you or 12 of you that voted. I don't know. Thank you for taking the time. If you did do that, thank you. Uh, we got sixth place. A lot of great looking lawns there. And so thank you for tuning in. Uh, it's cold out here. I'm going to go in. I got a sick girl. So say a prayer for her that she'll feel better. Sickness is, seems to be going around in the area. But all in all, everything's well. God is still good. He's on the throne. Merry Christmas to you guys. Jesus is the reason for the season. Check out the midweek quickies uh, when you can. And uh, we'll see you on the next lawn care video. God bless you.